Situated in New York Harbor, the Statue of Liberty has become the proud symbol of the United States of America. The Statue of the Goddess of Freedom carries the light of the spirit of enlightenment to the free world. On the 28th of October 1886, North America's most important statue was inaugurated by President Grover Cleveland amidst the roar of 21 cannon rounds. For many thousands of immigrants, the statue was a symbol of liberation from oppression and poverty. And today, New York Harbor's famous statue continues to raise the torch of freedom toward the sky. Miss Liberty was gifted by France in admiration of the powerful republic on the other side of the Atlantic. The idea was hatched by a group of French Democrats in 1865. They wished to see an end to Napoleon's empire and hoped for the establishment of a new French Republic. The young sculptor Bartholdi eagerly accepted the work due to the fact that the commission of his design of a large female statue for a lighthouse on the Suez Canal had not reached fruition. The ideal location was soon found, an artificial island in front of the southern tip of Manhattan. The pedestal alone measures 47 meters high. The 10 floors to the top of this platform can easily be negotiated via a lift. The statue's further 12 floors can be reached by foot. Still 162 steps to go on the narrow staircase. The final steps are quite steep and lead directly into the spikes or rays which adorn the statue. But the ascent is well worth the effort. From a height of 80 meters, the omnidirectional view of Manhattan, Brooklyn and New Jersey is overwhelming. The seven spikes of the crown symbolize seven rays of liberty for the world's seven oceans and seven continents. The restoration of the 46 meter high statue was due to a generous donation by Chrysler chief Lee Iacocca of 100 million dollars Alexander Gustav Eiffel, whose tower later made him famous, built an ingenious iron frame construction supported by a central shaft. Around this framework, a 2.4 millimeter thick copper coating was attached to the statue. It is due to Eiffel's frame that the monument has withstood the bay's savage winter storms. Packed in 200 crates, 300 separate sections were transported from France to New York by ship. 
The Copper Lady weighs a grand total of 225 tons. The base of the statue contains a museum in which there is a replica of the giant torch. An old drawing used to compare the statue with some of today's similar constructions demonstrates its incredible dimensions, creation of which is thanks to Bartholdi's fascination with the spectacular. Further models show the various stages of construction and the original plans of access into the actual head of the statue, today achieved by climbing 365 steps. Enormous steel scaffolding surrounded the emerging statue, which was constructed on a concrete foundation. This life-size model of an ear indicates the true proportions of this wonderful statue. The construction of the pedestal was financed by the state, but the money soon ran out. But the Hungarian immigrant and publisher, Joseph Pulitzer, raised the funds. In his newspaper, he published the names of those who donated the necessary money, which resulted in a huge increase in its circulation. The gift from France commemorated the 100th anniversary of independence from English rule. The colossal dimensions of each of the exhibits never fail to amaze those who visit the museum. On the 4th of July, 1884, the title deed was presented to the American ambassador. At first, Miss Liberty received little love and affection. New Yorkers used the statue's unveiling ceremony for a protest demonstration. Since then, the Statue of Liberty has won the hearts of those who have seen it and has become a symbol of freedom for the American people.